What is going on you guys? My name is Rage and we are back today with a Marvel Strike Force update video on the newest character being added as of today, Spider-Man 2099. As you can see, um, he, you know, he was previously introduced already in the game earlier, but we never got the official confirmation on the Red Stars. So today we're going to be taking a look at some Red Star Orbs, open a few of those, as well as take a look at his kit, deep dive, um, take a look at the T4s preemptively as well. Um, assess what his overall iso aid and best would be complementing uh, his skill kit and overall but what he's going to be bringing to the table guys is part of that new tangle web cosmic crucible meta as you can see high damage and focus as well as applying and prolonging negative effects on enemies so kind of similar to scarlet spider and symbiote spider-man with that regard as well he's also going to have the opportunity to flip random positive effects on enemies in cosmic crucible specifically on crits um he's gonna be prolonging those durations as noted earlier uh, this excludes stun ability block and trauma likely for just the balancing purposes but um he is actually going to be the next uh, monthly character feature guys so uh similar to how we got abomination this month for the month of september uh spider-man 2099 is now confirmed to be the month of october with the milestone events so that's that guys um the official confirmation like i said always make sure that they give us the actual text here saying 15% for a limited time. Um, and as well, uh, we need to confirm through the avatar. So uh, diving first thing guys, uh, supply store. We go ahead and hit the orbs here. And we can see his icon avatar here now. Uh, so we should be able to actually see the additional 15%. I like to double check this guys because um, this really is the best way to ensure that you know the affected promotion is in play and as you can see uh, at the very bottom right 15% increase so uh, that said let's get this party started we're aiming for I think a, a two or three would be really nice but uh, we're just gonna have to see how the luck is sometimes my my drops are pretty mediocre and then I come back again and it does do better um, as you guys saw with my uh, my spider weaver I did a video on it and then later on I did it with the with my elite seven so I was like actually able to get an elite seven on spider weaver so we got the two red there uh, ideally a three would be nice so let's open a few more and let's see how our elite fours are doing too maybe we can squeeze in a couple uh for for entertainment purposes here but i know sometimes you just gotta step away from the game um reset it uh whether it be spending some gold opening some other orbs like milestone orbs gold orbs and then coming back to the rest of our orbs and sometimes the luck is better uh, at the end of the day um you know it is just all our rng and um but it's good to see at least the the orbs does reflect his release here so that's good to know guys so um, let's get let's make it a clean number let's stop at 100 we'll just keep this going i'm um, getting some duplicates here so maybe our luck will be better if i open a couple of the elite fours but um he's gonna be a very powerful character guys i think 2099 and spider weaver are definitely um two of the most important ones in this tangle web team but it's gonna be interesting to see some synergies with them so uh we got a couple here still let's maybe open one i do want to save um these orbs but you just never know what kind of luck you're gonna get so uh four on electro just terrible luck today guys so um hopefully you guys get some better unlocks uh, than myself but i likely will go back another time just to see um reset everything and maybe try again tomorrow but uh that said um that doesn't stop us from actually taking a look at his kit though and, and assess overall uh, which t4 recommendations and what iso aid he's possibly going to be as part of this meta starting things off talent spec Talon Slash, excuse me, is his basic attack, attacking the primary target for 80% damage, as well as chaining to adjacent targets. Uh, in Crucible, on the actual crit, he's going to be prolonging duration of all negative effects. Um, again, excluding stun, ability block, and trauma. But what's notable here is if there's a blinded enemy, um, it's going to extend that. So that's really notable, guys. As we level this ability up, he's also going to be clearing positive effects on the primary and secondary targets. Um, defense down and bleed is also going to apply as we level it up. Uh, it's going to go to two random positive effects and the t4 is pretty much a raw increase in damage so that's still pretty notable guys um i would hold up on upgrading this to the level 7 t4 uh, let's take a look at the rest of the upgrades um before we prioritize this but this is some pretty notable damage but i have a feeling his other attacks are even more uh significant for his kit shock and awe special attack attacking primary and adjacent targets 100 damage again it's kind of similar to the basic applying offense up to two random allies that don't have offense up prioritizing the tangle web so it's always going to give them the precedence there in crucible specifically again the duration extension it's also unavoidable and cannot be blocked um, so as this ability does level up he's gonna be flipping offense up on primary secondary targets applying bleed and uh, what's notable here is the level four one because you're, we're going to add some crowd controlling aspects with the ability block and offense up lasting for two full turns. And then lastly, again, that significant T4 and raw damage increase. So it's notable. It's very similar 
to the basic attack again. So you're getting really good value for both these abilities at level 6. Um, this one is a stronger attack, so I would recommend T4ing it just because this is probably going to be more used than the basic, um, if uh, energy permits, obviously. But uh, I think that one's going to take precedence for sure. Uh, Future Flurry is his ultimate, attacking all enemies as well as applying slow and defense down. Very, very significant, guys. As well as filling up the speed bar for himself and all the web Tangle Web teams. Again, in Crucible, extending the negative durations. Um, if the primary target has death proof, he's also going to be applying death proof to himself and the allies. So that's kind of notable. Uh, we see that. We might want to apply that. And it does seem to be applying applicable um, in all game modes outside of Cosmic Crucible. So you really do want to target that. So that way it gives your uh, fellow Tangle Web guys, um, you know, longer duration of survivability. Uh, leveling this ability up. He's also going to be stripping away positive effects um, as well as filling up the speed bar more. The death proof does actually apply twice. Uh, and then what's notable here is that significant raw increase to damage, but the slow and defense sound lasting for a full two turns. So this one, without a doubt, should take priority out of the three we just reviewed, um, just because of that increase to damage, but as well as the slow and defense down, uh, absolutely is going to cripple a team. I love the synergy that he has right now with his kit. Every ability really working in tandem with each other, and we know what Spider Weaver can do as well. So that value is going to be absolutely notable. Uh, last but not least, Spider from the future is his passive ability. On each of his turns, he's going to be flipping a positive effect into a negative for each enemy. Um, and this is notable for each enemy, guys. So that's going to be applying to the full team against us, as well as gaining additional focus. And once again, in Crucible specifically, uh, Spider Weaver, if if, he's, if she's an ally on the team, um, damage is also going to be lowered for all enemies with bleed by 10%. And they also gain 10% drain. So... I would, this is why I believe he's the second most important because he's really going to be giving the, the healing aspect to the team, being able to drain and, and gather HP back with each attack. Uh, as you can see on spawn as well, by leveling this ability up, they're going to be gaining speed up, additional resistance. Uh, in Cosmic Crucible specifically, there will be an extra increase in um, the actual resistance, but Drain also gets leveled up here. The T4 is additionally um, adding more focus and damage reduction for all enemies in Crucible. So this one, I would say, is more useful if you guys are planning to bring this team up, um, especially in Crucible. But if you're planning to use this more of an all-rounder, I would actually just stop it level four for the um the maximal value um otherwise when you push this higher then this is going to be the one one that's notable because that you're going to be seeing the benefit there most notably in crucible so overall guys uh priority of uh upgrades uh, definitely is ultimate and special i would say um his his passive ability really only if you guys are planning to use his team in cosmic crucible and then that just leaves his basic attack um with all of his all of his single abilities um they do actually damage um single and adjacent targets and for that reason I think it does actually make the most sense to use him as a raider uh, to synergize with the damage, adding vulnerability, um, using Spider Weaver, or as well as uh, the rest of the other team members to be able to leverage that vulnerability. But I think it makes sense there. I don't know. Usually skirmishers when they need higher focus, but he already seems to have a really good issue um, in terms of getting by without that. So I don't see that aspect being um, being prevalent there. So I would definitely would lean more towards a raider possibly a striker uh depending on how the rest of your team um gear is geared towards just because the striker would leverage those vulnerabilities and getting the double tap uh, he's gonna be doing a lot of damage especially striking multiple enemies and that's for that reason i think the raider makes the most sense uh let me know what you guys think uh, in the comments below what you're gonna choose but definitely gonna be a strong character guys um you know so it'll be more interesting and telling as we get more information on how the rest of the month's gonna shake out in october but i'll keep you guys up to date uh, good luck with your rest art or openings as well. Thank you as always, and I'll see you guys in the next one.